Okay, boys and girls, what do, what do we call today? It's a special day. What is it again? It's Incredible Kid Day. So who are we celebrating? We're celebrating you. We are celebrating you. And I am so excited for you today. So, if you will show me your list. In fourth grade, you're right on it. I appreciate you guys. Okay. Well, boys and girls, because it is such a special day, and your teachers have so many great things planned for you every day, but especially today, they said, oh, we really want to do some special things for our boys and girls because they are so, what's that word again? They are so incredible. So we have some special things that we're going to do this morning. But the first thing that we want to do is we have a special guest, and he's so very busy, but he came this morning to celebrate. Who is he celebrating? He's celebrating you. So Mr. Saylor came to see us today because, Mr. Saylor, I tell you all the time that I have incredible boys and girls, don't I? I tell him all the time. I tell you, whenever I go to meetings, I go and what do I do? I brag on on you, right? I brag on you. I brag on the teachers. So we have some incredible boys and girls, and we have some incredible teachers, too. So we're going to celebrate them. But, Mr. Saylor, we have something. We, we weren't sure if you'd be ready to celebrate us, so everybody look. We want him to always remember who's incredible. My Country Heights kids. You're right, Country Heights kids. So, Mr. Sandler, we wanted you to have that because we think that you will want to always remember that Country Heights is full of some incredible kids. And I just wanted to give you this microphone and see if you wanted to tell them just a few little things. Good morning! Time to rise and shine! It's an incredible day at Country Heights, isn't it? Yeah. I'm so proud of you. And I'm so glad to be here with you. Oh, and I know you're going to talk about that guy was really loud. Well, you know why I'm loud? Because I'm so excited to be here with you this morning. I want to tell you, uh, I'm proud of every student in Davis County Public Schools. And my job is to make sure that every student... And we have almost 12,000 students in this school district. And my job is to make sure that every one of those students is learning, is safe, is happy, and growing. It's my responsibility. And I want to tell you that every time that I've spent time here at Country Heights Elementary School, I've seen that very thing happening. Boys and girls, you are incredible. You're doing incredible things, both academically, in the way you have friendships, the way you're building and growing, and, and learning is an amazing thing to see. Those who serve in the office, in the cafeteria, those folks who are responsible for making this a beautiful school, a beautiful facility, all those folks that work with you individually, those folks are doing an incredible job as well. But I want to talk about you. You are making a difference for yourself. I know your parents and your folks who care for you are very proud of you. And I certainly am. I have been for a long time. I also want to tell you that you have fantastic leadership at your school. The folks who serve in, in supervision and support for the staff are doing an incredibly good job. And I want to say how much I appreciate Ms. Harbour, your principal, and her staff, and the folks that are working to support everyone and keep everyone safe, happy, and learning. So I'll finish today by saying how proud I am of you. You are incredible, and I'm so proud to be here with you at your school this morning as you celebrate this great day. So congratulations, boys and girls. You are incredible. Boys and girls, I am just so proud of you because I love it when we can get some people to come in and celebrate you. So we were going to hear how great and how incredible you are all day. Your teachers, your mom and dad, me, Mr. Saylor, all the adults are going to be celebrating you today. But I want to take just a few minutes to share some staff bragging. Would it be okay with you if I bragged on some of the adults standing around? Would you like to hear some brags? Okay. Well, how many of you know who Miss Maria is? Yes. Do you think we should brag on her? Yes. I got a brag, and it said, Miss Maria is amazing. She's so helpful. She brightens my day every day. 
She's so positive. And you know what? She's even surprised one of our teachers with, with a little treat. And she surprised Miss Janowski with a Diet Coke. Do you think that was nice of her? Yeah, that was so sweet. So if you see Miss Marie today, please give her a thumbs up. Tell her thanks for being incredible. You know what? I also had some teachers who wanted to brag on each other. And Miss Corum has lots of brags because if you know Miss Corum, she has lots of adults that work in there. And she wanted to brag on the staff that works in our DHA. She said Miss Howe and Miss Huffman and Miss Lacey. She said they are great examples for our students. They do so many things to help go above and beyond for not only our students that need their support, but everybody else. And they are awesome. They said, Miss Corum said, you know what, sometimes she gets the privilege of going into some other classes. And she said, hey, Miss Hoskins and Miss Fulkerson, thank you. We are so proud of you for letting us come in. And said they have helped all of our students to grow and learn. And they are very happy to work together. And then they wanted to brag on Miss Jones. Miss Jones, she works at lots of schools, but she comes to see us every day and said that she works hard. So all of those teachers were bragged on by Miss Quorum. Wasn't that nice of Miss Quorum to look around and see other greatness? I think so too. That was incredible. And then, oh, I got two of the same one. I do. I know you do. You brag. All right, I have some brags as well. Um, first, I want all my staff who might have had a rank change or they may complete a degree. Stand up. Miss Courtney, come on. I know Miss Courtney just finished because she was so excited. Is she her one and only? All right, let's get her a big husky clap because that was huge and that was incredible. Miss Courtney, that was incredible. She spent a lot of her time after school working on getting uh, do, uh, her rank teacher leader certificate. So we are proud of her for that. That was incredible. Yes. Oh, who are my teachers that are still going to school? They're still in college. Stand up. Who are you? I see three, four, five, six. We have some up here. So boys and girls, they're still working on their uh, degree. They're, they had their teaching certificate, but they're extending their degree, so they're incredible as well. They're spending a lot of time outside of the classroom studying, taking tests just like you guys take, so they're incredible. Thank you, teachers. Also, let's brag on our lunchroom. I'm not sure, but last week when we had Read Across America, how awesome was our lunchroom, ladies? I walked in there, and it was all around Dr. Seuss. Did you all see that? They took the time. Dr. Seuss was sitting in the middle of their the fruit one day, and they had made a special, uh, what was those treats called? What was it? Exactly, Alex. They make special treats for us that are related to Dr. Seuss. So they are incredible. They're always in there thinking, how can I get these boys and girls to eat healthy? And they're being creative and using their imagination to get you guys to try new food. So they're incredible. What about our book fair last week? Was that awesome or what? Everybody say thank you, Miss Hamilton. She's incredible. Thank you, Miss Hamilton. She's incredible. All right. Now, we have a lot of clubs. We saw the robotic club yesterday morning here in the gym. If you're a club leader, please stand because you work with students after school. Where's my club staff? Where's my staff leaders? Academic team. Academic team. Robotic. The Husky servant. If, you are, if you're in charge of one of those groups, stand up. Boys and girls, look around. Look at these teachers who work with students after school in different clubs. They are incredible. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Also, I don't think she's in here, but everyone knows Miss Peek, right? Isn't she incredible? Last year about this time, she started looking around the building and she went to Miss Harper and said, Miss Harper, can I start painting? Can I make our school look better? And Miss Harper agreed and so like six weeks later, we have our hallways are repainted. Thank you to Miss Peek. And every morning, I know she's doing simple things like opening milk, right? Cleaning up little messes we accidentally make. So if you see Miss Peek, remind her how incredible she is. She's amazing. Also, how about fourth grade teachers last week? I got to brag on them. I got to brag from a staff member saying, wow, idiom day was amazing. Those kids know idioms for sure, because they won't forget dressing up like their favorite idiom. And last, I have a brag from Miss Hoskins to her team. 
I'm just going to read it because it was very sweet, kind, and incredible. It says, I love my first grade ladies. Miss Kanowski's energy encourages me to go above and beyond, and Miss Best support pushes me through all the ups and downs we experience as teachers. Our accomplishments and struggles remind me why I do what I do. It's a blessing to go. It's a blessing to get to synergize with these two amazing people and share my passion for teaching every day. Wow. They're an incredible team. They synergize. They work together. It's amazing. So we have a lot of amazing, incredible people that we get to be with every day, which in result makes you incredible, right? So I'm going to turn it over to one of my incredible leaders. They're going to tell us about our word of the month. And then we have another incredible team um, that's going to come out and um, share with you all one more thing. The big idea of this month is forgiveness. Forgive forgiveness is to just decide that each of us make when we have conflict. When we decide that someone who has done wrong doesn't have to pay, we are using forgiveness. This takes courage and respect to accomplish this each time. Be the leader that you want others to follow and forgive those who have conflict with every day. I want to celebrate my PE leaders and my banner of the week class. My PE leaders have been taking the win. We've been celebrating our Jump Rope for Heart and we celebrated uh, lots of jumping stations. We raised two thousand one hundred and eight dollars and fifty-seven cents, and that is amazing. It's a win-win for us because it helps others and it makes us feel good about helping others. And so, I want to celebrate two students who were shown leadership and who were incredible the last two days. Let's give a big husky cheer to Bella Real. to choose just one. But I want to recognize a class that really began with the end in mind. They set a goal for themselves. And I love when my classes set a goal. So I think that's amazing. Um, and this class said, Miss Belcher, it's our goal. We want to get the music banner we haven't had in a while. And so this class, they synergized with me. They synergized with each other. And we made music. And we had a lot of fun. So I want to recognize Miss Hoskins' class. Thank y'all first grade. Let's give them a husky cheer. All right, boys and girls, we have one more special guest today. Um, I'm going to have them come on out here. Let's give them a big country heights welcome. This is a Panther at Dance Team from the high school, Davis County High School. <laughs> they had an incredible year. So um, they're here to show off some of their talents and what made them so incredible. But first, we're going to talk a little bit about what, why, why would I say y'all had an incredible year? Um, well, we started off the year very determined, and we practiced all the time, pretty much, and then we went to our regional competition here at Davis County High School that was hosted there, and we won grand champs, which means we beat everybody there, and so that's our fifth year in a row that we've done that, and then we practiced some more, and then we went to our state competition in Frankfort, Kentucky, and we got first in both of our divisions, so we are state champs. And then last week, we went to uh, Orlando, Florida, to Nationals, and we got fourth and sixth in the nation. Wow. Okay, so you all have been practicing hard. All right, let's talk about teams. Because um, when you all went from state to Nationals, I heard you all started kind of um, encouraging each other while y'all were dancing. Anybody want to talk about that? Because y'all were synergizing, and we're a leader in school, so I know y'all were synergizing while on the floor. So how did that help you? Um, well, it really helps a lot when everybody on the team, when you're just dancing, and then 
you hear everybody yelling and encouraging everybody because it really it's really hard to do something all by yourself but when you have good friends and good teammates to build you up it's a lot easier to make really good accomplishments so boys and girls they kind of are practicing the seven habits aren't they they're synergizing they're seeking first to understand they're put i'm guessing you put first things first a lot huh you might want to tell me what you might have done first. What did Coach Debbie want you always to do first? You might want to share the top three things that you all were coached to do a lot. Um, we always uh, thought of the trophy and the place that we're going to win first. So you set a goal? Do we set goals, boys and girls? Yes. Yeah, so all those things we've been doing, they practice and they prove that they're incredible, just like we're incredible. So are you guys ready to see them dance? All right, y'all ready, girls? Okay, here we go. incredible when you can keep dancing together with no music. So, I do want to recommend, now there's one little one here. I think this is the only one I was over there thinking hard. Anybody? I know you do, that's why I got you. Boys and girls, this is the Country Heights Husky right here. She went to Country Heights. So let's uh, give her a big round of applause. She was incredible then and she's so incredible. So, we appreciate you all coming out. 